Accra University has the most advanced labs in the country. To work together on projects, experience, many, many possibilities, teams. Anatomica presents the campus tour of Aqua University. Founded in 2019, Aqua University is the first private institution of higher education with medical direction. And today, with Anatomica, you'll be able to see all the wonders of university guided by its students. While it starts as a medical school, nowadays we have four different schools at our university and around 17 different departments. Basically, the territory of campus is 25 hectares and all construction works was done by Turkish company, namely NKY architects and engineers. The construction work was done within the eight months, starting from February, and it was done already in November 2021, and it is already accommodated around 3,000 students and professors. But minor construction works are still going on. The campus is equipment for wheelchairs and disabled people. Akfa University offers modern curricula, which means high-quality education and consequently highly qualified professors, both local and foreign. The best part is the aspiring students who thrive for knowledge non-stop. I believe that the competition between the students entails curiosity and motivation for lifelong learning and improvement. The Avicenna Center Hall consists of two twin buildings connected by a corridor which serves as a faculty zone. Professors spend their office hours outside of the lectures where each student can ask for academic advice or choose an elective subject. Uh, the educational process is uh, organized on all four floors uh, in, uh, with a division into specialties. For example, on the third floor of the left wing there are laboratories for chemistry, biology and physics, while on the opposite floor there are iMac labs, co-working area and which also serves uh, as a study room for IT students. Um, a special room provided by university. Uh, we are like in real hospital, but it's uh, our biology laboratory, which is just next to our chemistry laboratory. Uh, these laboratories can accommodate uh, totally 80 students, but each of them, it, it means each of them can accommodate for only 40. Uh, as you can see, notice here, as many, many facilities, a brand new, the uh, microscopes, light microscopes, uh, which allow us uh, to observe uh, cells and uh, conduct other experiments. And the most important, interesting part uh, in the during the first year, as a medical student, uh, we had a chance to dissect animals like earthworms, frogs, and rats. The dissection lab is a place with intimidating name, but actually for medical students it's just a room for practice. The old practices that are done here by students are followed by instructors and antagonists, and uh, all preparers that were made and took from the body of the people that are uh, carried and saved in special bottles, and they are stored in special places. Why did I choose Aqua University? First reason, we will get international diploma to the work in other country. Secondly, we will get innovative education in Uzbekistan. Thirdly, we are taught by professors who have experience in other developed countries. Let's take a step into our favorite canteen. At the moment, only the first floor is functioning and it accommodates 500 people. Two establishments serve the students, from which one is Boboy and the other is Mad Pizza. Despite the fact there are only two establishments, the choice is quite large. The menu is extensive. With its large panoramic windows, letting in a lot of natural light, 
it encourages students to study, to work together on projects, and just chit-chat and relax. By the new academic year, it is planned to commission the second stage of the canteen, um, the library, the main conference hall, and the R&D center. All these buildings are designed for active interactions between students and professors, for guest lectures and research. Turning to the most visited building on the campus, I would like to note that stu most students are involved in sports. Uh, some of them doing it on a professional level, but others are doing it for stress relief. Sport Complex Open is not only for the students of the university, but for the other people from the outside. Uh, memberships are presented in the form of single, monthly and uh, annual visits. The building is a full-fledged fitness complex with indoor and outdoor courts, a swimming pool and a gym. Uh, coaches are always in the territory of the complex, as well as a full-time doctor is on duty. Students uh, who live in the dormitory use the fitness complex for free of charge. The gym is supplied with modern equipment from TechnoGym, uh, which meets all the safety rules and is in no way inferior to other fitness centers of the city. To ensure the safety of the students, uh, trainers are always in the gym and the lifeguard is always in the pool. Uh, the continuation of the complex is a group of open-air courts, tennis, volleyball, basketball and football. On these courts, traditionally, every semester, inter-university competitions are held. Uh, teams fight for the opportunity to represent the university on cross-university competitions and opportunity to get in the university team. Actually, there are three reasons for applying to Aqua University. The first one is the quality of educational system. The second one is new level. Uh, the new level is uh, studying medicine in English uh, that might give you an opportunity for your future career. And the third one is uh, various opportunities such as international programs, in exchange and transfer. Okay, let me introduce you the dormitory of Aqua University. It was built in December of 2021, and um, the building consists of six floors. First three floors provided for boys and other ones for girls. It was organized this way for providing comfortable living and also from a religious point of view. The dormitory can accommodate 500 students, but at the right moment there are 50 residents. So, uh, because most of students spending their summer vacation in their homes or abroad, uh, by the finishing reconstruction, most of students rented their homes. So there are two types of rooms. First one is three students and uh, in one room, and it costs around one and a half million Uzbek songs. And second one is only for one student, and it's kind of VIP, and it costs around three million Uzbek songs. Actually, students can use kitchen, but there are not any cookers, so the building is fire safe. Also, the dormitory contains laundry. To make usage more convenient for students, there are special people who request them the pockets by the dividing the color like white, dark and color. So um, after washing and drying uh, the clothes in the machine, uh, clothes will be delivered to the students. University is a place where the students are coming and want to learn something new and it should be everything for the student. So if there is all conditions to develop their knowledge, this is the best place to study. It should be, uh, there is no any fixed rules because there is, uh, university is a place where innovation is comes and students need to innovate something new. As a rector of the university, uh, the most what I am doing is to controlling the university by delegating my duties. 
Uh, when I'm telling the delegating my duties, I need to hire the, the best candidates for those uh, vacancies, so those uh, staff will affect effectively to the university processes. And when hiring the, any staff, you need to think not only about the knowledge, they also should be uh, social, uh, social people, because uh, at the university you're working with the people, not uh, with the robots. If you want to know about the tradition at the university, from the day one we decided that our university will be fully transparent. Why we need this transparency? Because this is the most important thing at the university. Everyone at the university should know uh, what's going on at the university. Without this transparency, will not be, uh, there is, will not be any quality. Also, I want to tell about this, there is a no hierarchy between the administration and between the students, even the, between the students and even the, me as a rector. At our university, rule number one is study. So that's why uh, students should do everything by themselves. They need to give more uh, efforts on the self-study because there is no anyone who can push you to the study. If you don't want to study, then you cannot study at our university. At our university, we have a very high qualified faculty members whose duties is creating the syllabus and the curriculum. And when they are creating the syllabus and the curriculum, they are trying to use problem-based learning system. Why problem-based learning system? Because the students, when they will graduate, they will face the problems in the future and they need to know how to solve those problems. That's why we are trying to use case studies. This is how university is operating. So if I had a chance, go back and if there is a chance to study, so I will choose the ACFA University because as a team, when we're creating this university, we're trying to create the place, the best place to study. Um, so I truly believe that um, higher education is not the privilege, but it's the right. And everyone should have an access to that. Um, also, I believe that it must be open, uh, very diverse. Uh, friendly atmosphere. Truly I am on the same way with my students and I believe that I will help them to become very encouraged, open-minded people and um, have a very good skills, I mean social skills in their lifetime. Uh, I think our students are very lucky uh, because university is unique in Uzbekistan, maybe in Central Asia. Uh, they have unique opportunities, um, so the students can just work independently in the labs. Uh, they talk with the uh, professors on the same, how to say, uh, they can openly ask us questions. Also, we are giving them uh, evidence-based information. Uh, and um, when I was a student, I never had an access for the evidence-based information. And uh, now I really understand how lucky they are. So they work independently. It creates um, a very good social skills, skills in the future. Uh, so they can just go to the work directly with those social skills and the knowledge they have, and they will not have any troubles in life. Uh, if I had a chance to go back to my uh, university times, of course I will, I will choose Akfu University because they have unique opportunities to study. Uh, I mean environment, the great building that I love. Uh, another uh, is great professors. Uh, as I said before, we don't have that barrier between us. And this is, uh, like, this is precious. Like, not everyone have that. Another reason that we have open access to the lab, to independent work, uh, to the library, to the evidence-based information, and maybe uh, I didn't have that in my times. Um, and uh, the last one uh, is the administration. So the staff is uh, very helpful and supportive. This is the great university to become a very skilled doctor who will save millions of lives. Uh, I think every doctor has an obligation to contribute to the uh, medical education and training of other doctors and students. So uh, we cannot separate uh, medical practice from the teaching of medicine. And uh, to teach the students it requires uh, staying up to date with uh, latest and current medical treatment and also 
with the latest research. So it is uh, beneficial for both the professors and also students. Well, uh, memorable moments about my course and students are that every single student was eager to learn in medicine. Uh, they know that it is a lifelong journey. It is a, not a one or two year job or uh, they cannot stop learning or uh, cannot stop gaining new knowledge once they graduate from medical school. So they know it and they try to do their best and they are very hardworking and enthusiastic to become the best possible doctors they want. In my opinion, uh, the higher education, especially in the field of medicine, should be adaptable to current uh, circumstances and rising changes in the world. And from the recent pandemic, we got to know that uh, especially for medical students, uh, they should adapt uh, to rising uh, opportunities in uh, medicine. Like for example, in recent years, there are a lot of demand for infectious disease doctors. And there are a lot of demand for uh, doctors who treat viral diseases. And there are a lot of demand for research in genetics and in the development of vaccines for example. So I think the main function of the higher education is to uh, rise, to raise uh, medical students who can adapt to those circumstances. So uh, when, you're, when, you, when they graduate the Akron University, they will become mature doctors who can uh, do their job and they also again from after the Akbar University they can continue their education as a, a researcher as a, a doctor in subspecialty like a neurosurgery or surgery or cardiology or neurology and so on. So uh, I think uh, Akbar University now is one of the best places in Central Asia for the uh, medical training. So uh, for the students of Accra University, there are a lot of opportunities. For example, they can continue their internship or uh, electives abroad, and they can train also ab abroad while learning here. And also in terms of equipment and facilities in the university, though so it is fully equipped like with lab labs, uh, chemical labs, the, like they can do the experiments in physiology labs and also in microbiology labs. So uh, there is no question that Aqua University has the most advanced labs in the country. And also for me, the most important part is Kedara Lab. Kedara Lab is the laboratory where we can dissect the uh, diseased human bodies and learn the true anatomy of the human body. So it is fascinating for future doctors and also especially for surgeons. So we have fully equipped cadaver lab and we've done dissections this year and there. And also I think uh, there is no other uh, university, private university in the country with such uh, cadaver labs. If, if I had a choice, uh, when I was an aspiring medical student, uh, I would definitely chose Akbar University to study uh, with uh, such opportunities to young uh, aspiring doctors. It has every age compared to all the universities in our country. Definitely, I would choose Akbar University. Mm -hmm.